Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and finally today we have MIUI 10 global beta room for Redmi Note 5 and Redmi Note 5 Pro. As Xiaomi said that they'll be releasing the global beta room in mid June and today is 15th June so they have already released it and the download link you can find it in the description below. It is still not available on the MIUI forum but it was available on XDA forum which you can download and flash it using TWRP recovery. So I have already flashed it using TWRP recovery and everything seems to be working perfectly ok no issues till now. And this ROM comes pre-installed with Google app package as it's a global release. So first let me show you the software information going to settings about phone and here you can see model number is redmi note 5 pro android version is 8.1 android security patch is 1st may 2018 and here you can see miui version is miui 10 global 8.6.14 beta so if you have redmi note 5 pro then you can check the description below and download the file from there flash it using twrp recovery that's it guys just complete the initial setup and you are good to go on their official forum, they have mentioned few devices like Redmi S2, Redmi Note 5 Pro, MI Mix and MI Mix 2S. And on their official forum, they have mentioned only two change logs. First one is the optimizations done for the MI browser. After that, under App Vault, they have added a World Cup card to the App Vault. So World Cup card can be found here. As you can see, Football Carnival 2018, you can add your teams and this is the World Cup card. Other than these two changes, there is nothing mentioned on their official forum. So guys, now let's take a look on this ROM. As you guys are already aware about the new UI on MIUI 10 and here you can see the quick setting panel is completely redesigned. You get rounded icons on the quick setting panel along with the thick brightness slider and which is working perfectly fine. Volume slider is also redesigned and you can see again a thick volume panel towards the right hand side where you have the volume button and in which you can also enable do not disturb. Manually you can change alarm tone, notification tone and the ring tone. And on MIUI 10, you get a complete redesign for recent panel. Now you have side by side app support. If you long press any of these application, you get option to lock. You can also open the application in multi screen and then you have the app info. So guys, they have done amazing changes on MIUI 10. It is ultra fast on this global beta release. There are no lags. I'll also show you the benchmark results. So now moving on to the camera application. The launch time of this camera application is amazingly fast. Talking about portrait mode, front camera and back camera both are working fine. And which gives you an amazing blur effect or bokeh effect. So now going inside the settings here you have all the basic settings like about phone, security status which consists of find my device, security update and the google play protect. Under sim card and mobile network everything is working fine as you can see dual 4G option I have enabled and both the sim cards are 4G enabled sim card which is working perfectly ok. Portable hotspot bluetooth does not have any kind of issues. Under display you have same normal stuff. Reading mode is working fine on this build now and you can also schedule the reading mode if you want. Under lock screen and password fingerprint sensor is working great. Let me just show you and here you can see the fingerprint sensor. There is no delay in unlocking the device. Talking about face data you have face unlock option available and which is also working fine. So let me just show you one of the example the device has been blocked now and once I press the power key. As I'm already sitting behind the camera, still device is able to recognize my face. And if you guys are not aware about full screen display, then you can just disable the navigation bars from the screen and use the full screen display. Which means swiping up will take you to the home screen, swiping and hold will take you to the recents panel. And if you are inside any kind of application, just swipe from left or right to go back to the previous menu. And swiping from any of the side and holding for some time will switch back to the previous application used. And battery part I'll be updating in the comment section below under additional settings you don't get anything new. You have one hand mode which works fine wherein you can select the screen size of 4.5 inches, 4 inches and 3.5 inches. There are no issues in logging MIUI account. After that you have system app, installed app. Dual app feature is working fine as you can see I have selected Facebook and I have two applications available on my home screen. So guys there is nothing new on this 
as we have already reviewed miui 10 in the previous videos if you guys want to check out the complete review of miui 10 you can just go to the description below and check out that video so now talking about the benchmark results going with geekbench application in this single course scores 1328 wherein multi course scores 4888 but in the previous build which we tested that was a leaked file in that single course code 1329 wherein multi course score 4877 Talking about N22 bench application, under these results are 1,15,398 but on the previous build it was 1,15,770. So there is not much of difference on both the builds. Everything seems to be working fine. I did not find any kind of lags or heating issue till now. So if you guys want to try then you just download the file from the description below and flash it using TWRP recovery. And if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.